Good morning. I'm Nancy Hudson with the Extension Office here in Fulton County, and I want to go through some healthy snacks with you today, and I am demonstrating two healthy snacks. The first one that I want to demonstrate is sweet potato snack, and I'll be making sweet potato chips. It's very simple. Sweet potatoes are full of fiber. They're very colorful. Uh, they are chocked full of nutrients, of vitamins and minerals. So these are just a wonderful vegetable uh, for you and your family to eat. And of course, any of the vegetables that I use are uh, readily accessible at your local grocery store, uh, local farmer's market, or maybe even in your garden. So let's go ahead and start with the sweet potato. The first thing that I want to do is to cut the ends off. Now, as you will see, I've got a very sharp knife and I've also got my cutting board. Um, with the sweet potato, you want to cut just a little bit of the end off. And remember with the sweet potato, they're a little hard to cut through. So just bear that in mind. Now if you have something at home, uh, a very sharp knife or a mandolin to use, that would be great and it's easier to cut that way. Now what I want to try to do here is cut the sweet potato uh, into about eight to a fourth inch slices. So as I do that, because the thing of it is, you're wanting these to be chips. And if you slice them too thickly, uh, it'll take a while for them to get done. Plus, uh, they won't be as crisp. So I will go through just a few of these and I will show you uh, exactly what you need to do uh, to finish them. Um, I'm going to cut this many here and I'm using uh, as the, the covering for the sweet potatoes an olive oil and some sea salt. Now I'm going to use about a tablespoon of olive oil. Now if you're wondering, this is an extra light uh, olive oil and it will tell you usually on the label what this particular oil is for and this one is for sauteing frying and baking so this is a good brand so go ahead and read your label always so that you'll know uh, what you're looking for and I need a tablespoon this that I've got is a half a tablespoon Okay, then I will need about a half a, a tablespoon of salt. Now you want to watch out and not get uh, a lot of salt on this because it will make it very salty. So uh, you can eyeball it. I'm going to measure this and just put this in. Then what I'm going to do is put my sweet potatoes in. You can also, if you want to, put a little pepper, um, if you like the taste of that. And all you want to do is you want to coat your sweet potatoes. And of course, make sure that the whole thing is coated. You also then want to take an aluminum pan of some sort. And with these, you want to lay them in a row like this. Now, don't think you don't have enough salt or pepper on these because as I, as I handle them, I can definitely t uh, feel uh, the salt. So what you need to do is bake these uh, at about uh, 425 for around 20 minutes. Now, what you need to do in about the first 10 minutes, take them out, with a pair of tongs and just flip them over and then put them back in for another 10 or 11 minutes. Now, as do all cooking shows, I did this before I left the office this morning. So this is actually what the chips look like uh, when they are finished. And as you can see, uh, they're very golden. Uh, they're also somewhat crisp, 
So when you bite into these, it's not like a potato chip by no means, but you get the crunch, plus you get a little bit of that salt flavor that most people enjoy, especially for a snack. So if they get a little brown, no problem. Uh, they're still very tasty and very good, but these are a wonderful afternoon snack uh, for kids, and these are also great for adults too. So you might find yourself uh, with the munchies, and these things will sure satisfy uh, any of your munchies. Now, let's go on to the next one, and I'm going to do kale. And particularly what I'm gonna do is kale chips. So let me move this out of the way and I am going to get another cutting board here and we will be on our way. Now, when you're working with kale, the first thing that you need to do is wash it and I did uh, wash this kale. This uh, is just a, uh, just a bunch of kale that I bought uh, yesterday. And the first thing when you try to make your kale chips is to de-stem the kale. And what you want to do with that is just take it and twist it and pull a little bit and, most, and it will loosen that. Then what you can do is just run your knife along that ridge. Now, the stem is tough, and you don't want that really uh, with these uh, kale chips because you'll be chewing for days, so you don't want that. So, the other thing that you need to do is to put these into manageable pieces, and if you see like here, you see another uh, stem, you might want to cut the thicker part off so that you've got a usable section there. Uh, let's do another one. A lot of people don't care for kale, but now kale is very low fat, uh, low in cholesterol. Uh, a lot of people think it's uh, low in flavor too, but it's not really bad if you put it in soups and salads and that type of thing. Uh, it grows on you after a while, but it, it is very high in fiber. It's very high in protein, believe it or not. Uh, even without the stems, um, and it's, it's easy to work with. So, very high in uh, vitamin C and B and K, so it is something that's very worthwhile. Now, I don't really see anything here that looks like it's gonna be a thick stem right here maybe is one. So let me just cut that out. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to use more uh, olive oil and I'm gonna use uh, about another, whoops, about another tablespoon. Folks, when I cook, I just throw and pitch, so you never know. Okay, put in um, about a half a teaspoon of salt once again. And a little pepper will do it. And if you'll notice, these are ingredients that are all uh, easy to, to find and, and no problem in using. So you wanna put your kale in the bowl, you wanna turn and mix and be sure that it's all uh, mixed and evenly spread here. Then you wanna take your pan, and normally what I do, I just use a cookie sheet and I'll put aluminum foil on it. It makes it easier. You just wanna put this down uh, as best you can. And you wanna put this in a 375 oven for 15 minutes, but now every five minutes you need to take this out, flip it, and put it back in and cook it another five. And the reason for that, if you're not careful, sometimes the ends of it will get too brown and they're likely to burn. So let me show you what 
kale chips look like, and I did these this morning at the office. Now, I'm going to show you. Um, this was a whole, a whole major bunch of kale uh, that I cooked, and as you can see, it cooks down, and so do the sweet potatoes. But when you when you eat this, you can hear that there's a crunch. So this too has the crunch effect as well as a little bit of salt flavor. So this too is a good snack. And folks, if you have trouble having kids that really don't like real healthy foods, this is one that I think they would enjoy eating. And really and truly, they don't have to know it's kale, but it's not a bad snack and it is worth it to get all of the nutrition uh, that's possible out of this particular uh, vegetable. So if you have any questions about any of the recipes that we've gone through today, please call me at the Purdue Extension Office here in Fulton County, and that is 574-223-3397. If you have any questions at all, just call, and I'll try my best to answer them.